So illustrating the Arduino LCD oscilloscope again, uh, this time using another Arduino FIO as a function generator, a square wave generator. And the code for this sketch is posted on semifluid.com. Let's decrease the frequency by switching the pins here so that I'm going to have the frequency. It's currently at about um, one kilohertz. So it should be, or excuse me, two kilohertz. So now it's at approximately one kilohertz. That's an expectation. Uh, having that, it should be close to 500 hertz. There we go. And as you can see, this horizontal time scaling is accounting for the change in the switching frequency. So it's approximately, so 480, I'm gonna say 488 hertz. Um, so it, unfortunately it's very difficult to tell with my Arduino FIO uh, function generator that I put together here what the exact switching frequency is. Um, so it'd be great if somebody could confirm these, but then if we keep on lowering the frequency, so here it should be 488 divided by 2, which actually 244, which actually is very close to it, so it's 241, looks like. And if we decrease that again by half, we should have, there we go, 120 hertz. Should be 60 hertz next. Looks to be about 60 hertz. Keep on going down, about 30 hertz. Hopefully once it catches, there we go, 30 hertz. So let's try going back up. So from 30, let's go to 60. So here's 60. And the horizontal time scaling, it's a little bit slower going from a low for slower frequency to a uh, faster switching frequency, but we'll keep on going up a little higher, see how well it does. It looks like it's showing 120 hertz as we were expecting. It should be about 240 in the next one. Okay, to 240, 235, keeps going around. And of course the horizontal time scaling is still going. And if we keep on switching, oh, it looks nice. And this is 480 hertz. Um, if we go to the fastest frequency that I'm actually implementing on uh, this Arduino FIO square wave generator, let's actually, let's keep on going up. This is right now at about that one kilohertz. Should be about two kilohertz. And then the fastest should be about four kilohertz. So there you go. So it has about four... So 4,082 4, hertz it's measuring. Unfortunately, that's uh, approaching the limits of the sampling frequency just because uh, the way that the uh, zero crossing measurement is actually estimating the frequency, it uses uh, first the rising, falling, and then rising again um, measurements to estimate the frequency. And as you're close to the sampling freeze as you get closer and closer to the sampling frequency uh, it unfortunately becomes worse and worse where if you uh, miss a measurement or if a measurement's off by one bit it can really grossly exaggerate things point is still works pretty darn well so thanks again take a look at the code on semifluid.com and enjoy